Continuing our coverage now of life-saving procedures that we learned today here at Channel 3, our Alyssa Borden gives us a demonstration on how to do CPR. Earlier in the broadcast, we learned why it's so important that people know CPR and they get trained on it. We're going to give you a watered down crash course on the basics of CPR. We're here again with Josh Stevens of AED.com. Josh, where do we start? Uh, the first thing we want to do is to make sure that the scene's safe. Just make sure there's no electricity, uh, no fire, no other hazards. Sure, okay. And what from there? Then we're going to check to see if they're responsive. Don't be shy, sir, ma'am. And we're also looking for breathing as well. Yeah, at this point, we would send direct somebody to call 911, get an AD if one's available. Okay. Then we're going to check for breathing. We're going to do that for about 10 seconds. Okay. Just tilting the head back, look, listen, and seeing if we can see that chest go up and down and feel any breathing on our cheek. Okay. And they're not breathing. What do we do now? They're not breathing and they're unresponsive. We're going to begin chest compressions. So when it comes to starting CPR, you're looking for 30 compressions and then two breaths, correct? That is correct. All right, great. So we learned earlier today the pace for these is about two compressions per second. So I'm going to start doing that now. We've got my hands just like this, as you're supposed to, in the center of the chest. And we're going at least two inches deep, correct? At least two inches. Okay, great. So here we go. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine, 10, 11, 12, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now it comes time to give a breath. What do I do? Uh, if you have a barrier device available and you're able and willing to, you're going to place the barrier device over their mouth. Okay. Um, going to tilt their head back. Pinch their nose with two fingers. You're going to create a seal with your mouth over their mouth. Okay. Um, and give a breath about one second. And now this step isn't mandatory if you're not comfortable with it. It's not. If somebody's not able to or unwilling to perform mouth to mouth with or without a barrier device, they can just do continuous chest compressions. Okay. And ideally, as you're doing those compressions, someone has gone to get the AED if one's available. That is correct. What does the AED do, if you can talk about that a little bit? So the AED, it's, it's very simple. Um, you just have to turn it on and follow the steps. It looks for two deadly heart rhythms that a patient may be in, um, and then it will correct it by delivering an automatic shock to the patient. And this procedure is good for cardiac arrest if someone is non-responsive, but there are other procedures if people are choking as well. We'll have those coming up in just a bit. But for now, Josh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.